Having recently bought a quick change tool post for the lathe, I've had to turn some parts so I can mount the tool post onto my top slide. The parts I've turned are the actual mounting post here, a washer, and the clamping nut which will fit on top, along with a handle with a nice brass cap to go on the end. Having turned these parts, I thought it would be a good opportunity to have a go at bluing, cold bluing, something I've never done before. So in this video, I'm going to be attempting to blue these parts. So it'll be interesting to see how I get on. For the bluing, I'm going to be using this stuff, Philips Professional Cold Blue. The first thing I need to do is give the parts a thorough degreasing, so I'm using this stuff, no nonsense heavy duty degreaser. I think I got this from Screwfix. According to instructions, this is mixed five capfuls for five litres of warm water. So I ran about a litre in there, so I'll stick a capful in there and we'll give it a go. That was a little bit more than a capful, but I can't see that being a problem. All these parts have already been fairly well cleaned using warm water and washing up liquid so the worst of the grease should hopefully be off them. Whilst I'm at this I'm also going to have a go with four T-nuts that I made for my fixed tool post. And of course the brass handle won't be going through the process. I'm just using the handle to clean out the threads in the tea nuts. This is just a bowl of water. All the parts have now had a good clean and they've been dried off. I've also just given them a quick blast with a heat gun just to make sure there was no moisture lurking in the threads. Um, now I'll prepare the Philips Cold Blue. It says it needs to be mixed with water, one part of blue to three parts water. So let me go and do that and then we'll give it a go. Instructions say to fully immerse the parts in the solution and use a brush to uh, give them little short strokes. And it says it should take about three minutes just drop everything in. You can see the colour changing immediately on that part. And they've, they've all turned colour almost immediately. That washer seems to be taking a bit longer. I'm wearing gloves for two reasons. A, to protect my fingers, but also to make sure I'm not putting any grease onto the parts. Apparently they have to be completely grease-free. The parts are then to be thoroughly rinsed, so we'll drop them back into the bowl of water. I've not been keeping time. All right, let's give those a clean. The final stage it says to remove the parts and spray with Philips water repellent oil, which I don't have, but I have got some GT85, so we'll give that a go.
clearly I'm giving them a really, really good soaking with that oil. Right, the final instruction is leave them for at least an hour. So we'll do that now. Um, first impressions are quite positive, that looks alright. Cool. As per the instructions, I did leave the parts for at least an hour. In fact, it was probably two or three hours before I came back and gave the oil a bit of a wiping off. And I've also since left the parts overnight. And as we can see, the results are very good. I'm very impressed. I'll assemble these and stick them on the lathe and see how it looks. So the T-nuts are in the slots. Let's just build up the tool post. I am thinking about bluing both of these blocks as well, but uh, it might just suck too much light away from this part of the lathe. In which case I need to rely on just keeping them well oiled. First is the tool clamping post. The previous post was well and truly loctited in position. It was not easy to get out. I will loctite this one in as well at some point. The quick change tool post itself. This is from one of the model engineering suppliers in the UK. The washer and then the clamping nut. The handle and the cap. I'm very pleased with that. That looks great. 